Hi everybody and welcome to Scrappineers TV. I have an episode for you guys today on how to create your own scalloped edges in Photoshop that you can use in your digital scrapbooking pages. So for starters, I'm just going to show you a few of my pages that I have used scallops on so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about and how you can use them. So this first page here, I've got scallops coming underneath. Um, this kind of center focal piece here and then there's even a little scallop peeking right here and it's just got scrapbook papers clipped to it and then this one right here it may not be as obvious when you first look at it but it's actually this great big purple pieces right here on both sides those are just big giant scallops and then this one here these were actually digital elements that the designers created that came in this kit um, but you can see that I've kind of matted this layout on it um, and then we've got this one here where it's got a scallop peeking here and then as well as I kind of frame the edges with this as well. So you can see kind of how I've used them and I'm sure you've used them yourself, but wanted to point them out just in case you weren't quite sure what I wanted to do today. I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. And then I'm going to grab my pen tool. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here so we can see. Uh, your pen tool is right here. You can click on it or hit the P button on your keyboard. And then you want to come up here to your tools and make sure that path is selected. You don't want shape, you want path. And then you're just going to click and come over as far or wide as you want your path and then click again. And if you hold the shift key before you click that second time, it will create a straight line for you, which is really nice when um, you're creating these scallops. Now I'm going to grab my brush tool and I'm going to come over here to my brush tools. And if you don't have this here, you're going to want to go to window and hit your brush or you can hit the F5 key and that will open this up for you. And I'm going to select a hard round brush and it doesn't matter what size it is, you are going to change the size to fit your needs for what you want to do here. Now if you come over here, it will show you on your canvas this the brush relative to your canvas size. So this 30 pixels is really small. It's not going to do me a lot of good. I am going to make it bigger. Now some people might want a small scallop and you can certainly do that. I'm going to go probably, let's try about 200 pixels here and see what kind of a look that gives me. Okay, that's what I'm going to start with is 214. So, And then I come down here and you can see this gives you an example of what your brush is going to look like if you um, swipe it across your page. Now what I want to do is space it out so that it gives me that scalloped look. So you can decide how far you want it. Um, you don't want it to be not touching, otherwise obviously it kind of discombobbles the scallop. That's not what you want there. I've discovered if I go about 93, 94% that it gives me a really nice, um, really nice scallop edge. And I'm going to go ahead and close this out so I can see what's going to happen on my document. In my layers panel, I'm going to give myself a new layer and I do this so that um, they get separated out and I don't have to come back and cut and paste them onto new layers later. Each one can have its own. And now in order to make the magic happen, you need to click on your paths. And so here it is, you've got your work path selected. And if you come down here to this circle with a hole in it, it says stroke path with brush. And that's exactly what we want. You can change your color here, but if you're gonna be clipping a scrapbook page um, to it, then you don't really need to worry about it. And there we go. So I just click that and you can see that it's given me a nice, nice edge here. I'm gonna move it out of the way. Um, it did cut itself off because I got it too close to the end of the page there. But if you were going for a full 12 by 12, you would want it to cut itself off because it's not going to be a perfect circle or it really doesn't matter. But then in order to just finish making your scallop, I'm going to grab my rectangular marquee tool and come down here and select the bottom half. I'm going to make sure that I'm on my layer first because if I just hit delete first, it will most likely delete my path here and it doesn't really matter, but I want to make sure that I delete this here. So I've clicked it. I'm going to say, oh, and it still deleted my path anyways. A lot of good that did me, huh? There we go. Delete. And now I have this little scalloped edge that I can use on my scrapbooking. Um, let's go ahead and do another one. I'm going to grab my pen tool again since I accidentally deleted that. And I'm going to go all the way from edge to edge here. 
and back to my brush tool and you can see um, right here it's all grayed out that's because I don't have my brush tool selected when I first started using this it took me the longest time to figure out why these options weren't showing up so make sure if you want to use your brush tools you need to have your brush selected first and let's go ahead and make some of those giant scallops that were kind of fun okay gonna give myself a new layer and then again go to my paths and stroke path with brush and there you go so a big funky scallop and then of course if i click off the path it's not going to delete it so if you don't want to delete your path just make sure that you click off of it when you're in your paths panel here i'm going to go back to my layers panel and select that big scallop grab my rectangular marquee tool and delete those out of there there we go move this down so you can see here and there you go so you've got a couple of scallops you can make them in any size and um, doesn't matter how big or how long you need them you can do it using the same method so hopefully this was something new that you were able to learn and that you'll be able to uh, use in your digital scrapbooking pages if you have any questions be sure to leave me a comment and i will see what i can do for you thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time